residential phone service, DSL, broadband internet. We're ready to go, phone them into that environment. Basically, phone them connects something like an answering machine. I'm going to insert it in line between the wall jack, the output from the phone company, uh, and the phone. So I plug, I'm going to basically insinuate phone now between the two. So I'll disconnect where the, power, where the phone source comes from the tel telephone and instead of plugging that into the phone, I'll now plug phone gnome in there uh, where that phone company connection used to be. And now where the phone was connected straight through to the phone company, it now plugs into the phone gnome instead. And there's a line jack for, the, for that uh, connection to the phone company. Here, I'm going to take a connection from my Ethernet router, so a, port, a spare port on the router plugs in with the Ethernet cable. Now I've got all my phone connections, my network connections ready to go. The last thing I'm going to connect is power. Now the instant I connect this power, this phone is going to start to go through its first time self-configuration process, its one time configuration process. And that's all going to happen automatically. I don't need my computer to be on. So we had our little break, uh, took a water break instead of a coffee break this time, and uh, it's completed its setup now and I can uh, query my phone number on it, that's how I know it's done, and I also can tell by a dial tone. When it's still setting up, it has a diagnostic dial tone and now it has a, a normal dial tone. So if I just want to make calls, I'd basically be done, I don't need to do anything else. I'm done with my configuration, I'm going to set it up. Most people, 95%, set up what we call a My Phone Gnome site, and one of the uh, most commonly used features and one of the reasons they set up the site is for voicemail to email. I can show how quickly you can set that up. I click activate and the screen comes up uh, asking me for uh, my email address which it already knows but I could actually use a different one for voicemail than the account uh, email address and then it gives me a number of rings to answer and I'm basically done. I've now activated voicemail to email and I don't need to tell my phone company and change anything to make that work. So as I mentioned, we activated voicemail to email on the phone home during the setup. So now the idea is anybody that leaves me a voicemail, I can now pick it up on my PC, uh, my anywhere I have an internet connection, uh, here in the kitchen or down at Starbucks or, or whatever. It arrives in my email as an attachment. I simply can play that Hi, with my PC. I'm now going to talk about another feature that's uh, very commonly used to set up on your my phone home site. And again, it's typically going to be on the features page, that's where most of the cool stuff happens. And on that page is an option called Low Cost Internet Calling. And this allows me to select internet uh, carriers for my calls. So I simply click and I'm presented a, a list of offers from third parties and I can pick the plan that I, like, that I like best, whether it's a flat rate plan or a pay as I go plan. I simply activate that plan, I go through, just like any other web sign up, I, I enter my information for creating that account. Uh, I click go. So to activate that service I just signed up for, I simply grab it from the pull down, I click it, and I click save. And now when I dial on my plain phone, using dialing the normal way I've always dialed, those calls are now being directed out that internet carrier I selected on this website. Here there's a lot of edits in this little video, but our total lapse time we've, we've been measuring has been about 20 minutes from the time we, we first started here. And in that 20, so in that 20 minutes I've gotten the device out, I've hooked it up, it's gone through its self-configuration. I can created my My Phone Gnome homepage. I activated voicemail to email, and I even selected a third-party service, signed up for a third-party internet calling service, activated it on my phone, and uh, all of that had happened occurred in 20-25 minutes uh, from the from the start. And again, my phone, I just use it like I always have. I simply pick it up and dial.